in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Dear audience, I am Dr. Khuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. I am going to make a video on verb phrase. In the previous video, I talked about noun phrase and now we are going to talk about verb phrase. And verb phrase is being discussed under phrase structure rules. Just as N projects an NP, V projects a VP. A simple test environment for VP is given in 69. The student dash 70 lists just a few of the possible phrases that can occur in the underlined position. The student snowed, the student ran, the student sang, the student loved music, the student walked the do dog through the park, the student lifted 50 pounds, the student thought Tom is honest, the student warned us that storms were coming. So these are the limited number of phrases that can come in this empty slot. These phrases have a V as their head. As projections of V, they form VP. VP can be characterized by the rule in 71 to, to a first level of analysis. So in 71, we have got VP which is equal to V and then there is bracket in which we have got NP. It means it is an optional and then PP and modifying sentence. So again, PP and modifying sentence, it means out of these two, only one thing can come. This simple VP rule says that a VP can consist of an obligatory V followed by an optional NP, which is a noun phrase, and then any number of PPs, prepositional phrases, or an S, which is a modifying sentence. The rule thus does not generate ill-formed VPs such as these. So we cannot have VPs like leave the meeting, sing the leave meeting, leave on time the meeting. So these are ill-formed phrases. But we can have the monkey wants to leave the meeting. The monkeys approved of their leader. The men practice medicine. These examples show that English an English well-formed sentence consists of an NP and a finite VP which can be represented as a PS rule. Finite verb because finite verb tells us about time. So in all these sentences the monkey wants to. So wants is telling us that, that this is present simple tense or the monkey wanted to. So again wanted to tells us that this is the past simple tense. So it means that finite verb is required. Finite verb tells us about time. There are some non-finite verbs as well. Like to go. Like to leaving. So they are not telling us about time. So they are non-finite. Simple rule is S is equal to NP and VP. Noun phrase and verb phrase. But we can have the student and the students want. For example, the phrase in 78A and 78B can occur, whereas those in 78C can occur only in 77B. The students run, feel happy, study English syntax. The students want to run. The students want to feel happy. The students want to study English syntax. The students can run. The students want can run now is wrong. So it means that after want we need two plus first form of the verb. Okay. And in this way the sentence can be completed. So the students want to run, want to feel happy, want to study English syntax. In the full grammar we will consider to and can and so on as auxiliary verbs with a feature specification auxiliary plus to distinguish them from regular verbs. Then all auxiliary verbs are simply introduced by a second VP rule. VP is equal to V and in V we have got auxiliary plus VP. One more important VP structure involves the VP modified by an adverb or a PP. So VP which is a verb phrase it can be modified by an adverb or by a PP which is a prepositional phrase. 
John read the book loudly. So loudly is telling us about read. So read is a verb phrase. So read which is a verb, it is, it is modified by loudly which is an adverb. The teacher met his students in the class. Where? In the class. So in the class is telling us about met. That where did the teacher meet? The teacher met the students in the class. So this is PP. In the class is a PP phrase which is telling us about met. In such examples the adverbs loudly and the PP in the class are modifying the preceding VP. To form such VPs we need the PS rule in 81. So PS rules they can change. So we do not have just one PS rule as we had only one NP rule. So PS rules are many. VP is equal to VP adverb slash PP. So VP can be modified by adverb or PP. This rule together with 76 will allow the following structure for 80B. So S which is a sentence if we divide it into different nodes we can have these nodes NP and VP. In NP we have got the teacher. Teacher can be further divided into D which is determiner and teacher which is head noun. And then VP. So in VP we have further VP and PP. So VP we have got met his students. So met is V and his students is NP. If we further divide it. And PP in the class. So PP can further be divided into P in and in the class which is a which is an NP. So VP is equal to VP and adverb slash PP. In this video I have talked about verb phrase and I have talked about two phrase structure rules of verb phrase. First of all verb phrase it can have verb and then it can have NP slash PP. So it means that verb phrase can have PP, optional, sub constituent and NP optional as a sub constituent. The second PS rule related to NP, VP is that it can have VP which can be modified by adverb or PP. So, thank you very much.